today we're going to be using these very special metallic tempera paints and because this is such a special art supply i want to give you a few tips on how to use them so that they look great on your artwork and how to take care of them so that other kids will get to use them too um i want to start off by choosing a color and i'm gonna paint one of my shapes i only got paint on the bottom half of my brush and i'm going to be painting on my tippy toes so i'm keeping those bristles together i'm not going to go like this and push the brush all the way down so the metal touches the paper that can damage our brush so i'm only painting on the tippy toes of my brush and you can kind of see that when you paint with the metallic temper paint that first time it might be a little bit light it kind of shows up pale if you spread the paint out super thin so what i did is i let some of my shapes dry and then i can go back over that same shape again with the same color and that's going to make it look much much brighter so if you want it to be kind of a pastel color you can just do one coat if you want it to show up um, brighter you can do an extra coat after the first coat dries if you wait a little bit you should be able to paint it the same day when it's spread out thin it dries pretty fast if i'm switching colors i need to wash my brush off really good in the water i need to scrape that water off on the side of the cup and then i can use one of these washcloths to dry my brush off so that i don't get extra water into the paints the washcloth is only for um drying off the water you can't wipe wet paint onto these washcloths because that's going to make it messy for the next class now that my brush is clean and a little bit dry i can dip my brush into a color remember i only put it halfway in i only got brush on the bottom half of my paintbrush and then i'm just painting that second coat on this shape I'm doing that by painting on my tiptoes. I'm using the tiptoes of my brush. If I want to switch to a different color, I can't just put my brush right into that color. These paints are really special and we want a lot of different kids to be able to use them and have them look really nice. So we want to make sure and rinse out our brush every single time so we don't mix up the colors in the paint tray. So I'm rinsing out my brush really, really good. I'm scraping that brush on the side of my cup. And then if I want, I can dry off that water. I'm only gonna get paint on the bottom tip of my brush and I'm gonna paint on my tiptoes to fill it in. If I wanna switch to a different color, I need to do the same thing again. I need to wash off my brush really, really good scrape that extra water off on the side of the brush and then I can dry the water off on my washcloth and then I'm ready to get a new color. When it's when I feel like I'm ready to start painting the background, I can wash my brush, scrape my brush, dry my brush. And then I can get paint and I can start painting the background. I wanna make sure that I don't mix wet paint into wet paint. So I'm gonna take my time and very carefully paint around my shape. And I can do that by turning my paper. Let me move some stuff so I have room. I can turn my paper and then that way my hand stays comfortable and it's easier for me to paint neatly up to the edge of that shape. It's always important to keep your hand comfortable. You can always move your artwork and then that way your hand stays comfortable. And I could just keep painting the background of my artwork and I could keep filling in the shapes, making sure to wash my paintbrush in between every single color really good because we don't want those um, beautiful metallic paints to get mixed up. 